everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, today's project is going to be an Egyptian mummy, a paper mache Egyptian mummy. And you can see on this particular mummy, I have a jewel that I put on it. I have some googly eyes. Um, and I'm going to explain what this symbol is. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Egyptian mummies and then we'll get going with the project. So Egypt is a country in Africa and you can see that here is Egypt. About 5,000 years ago, the Egyptians started the process of mummification. And what mummification was, was a way of preserving bodies. The Egyptians thought that um, after we die, we go to an eternal afterlife where we live on forever and ever. So they wanted to treat the body very carefully so that it could last forever. Um, the process of mummification is very interesting. Um, what the Egyptians would do after um, a person died is they would first cleanse the body, then they would cut the body open and take out the internal organs. Um, they would leave the heart in the body because the Egyptians felt that the heart was the center of our being, that the brain didn't control things, but the heart controlled um, intellect and also emotion. So they left the heart in the body. And then they stuffed the body with sawdust. They did remove the brain. Um, they stuffed the body with sawdust and then put the body in salt, um, covered it with salt, and the salt leached out all the moisture and the water from the body. And then that took probably about 70 days. And once the 70 days was up, they took the salt away and they restuffed the body in case it needed a little more stuffing. And then what they did was they would wrap the body with linen. And sometimes the body was wrapped with about um, 20 layers of linen. So you can see that um, this was a very costly process. And mostly it was the wealthy Egyptians, the pharaohs who were mummified in this way. There were um, easier ways for the more common folk to be um, mummified. So um, you'll notice that there's this symbol. This symbol is called an ankh. It's an Egyptian hieroglyph. That means that's how the Egyptians um, wrote. They used pictures and this particular Egyptian hieroglyph means life. And the reason it was sometimes found on mummies is because it's talking about eternal life, life that goes on forever and ever. So that's a little bit about mummies and mummification. So we're gonna make one of these today. And the materials that you need, as I've said, you need either wax paper or saran wrap. You need some tape. This is painter's tape. You can use masking tape or scotch tape. You're going to need some water. You're going to need a quarter of a cup of flour. You're going to need a teaspoon of salt. You're going to need something to mix with. You're going to need scissors and you're going to need some perhaps black construction paper. That's sort of optional because you can always use a marker. Um, I always have a pencil when I work. And when I said jewels were optional, if your mom has a piece of jewelry that is, you know, sort of like she lost an earring and she has one earring left and she's not ever gonna use it, maybe you wanna take that. But these are just some stones. Um, I think they're used for plants or they, um, you know, whatever they're used for. And I have some, um, if you don't have jewels, you can always use colored paper. Uh, punching it out with a paper punch. Um, and then, uh, let's see, you need some glue. So that's what you need. And also, most important thing is you need some newspaper. So the first thing I'm gonna do starting this is I'm going to make the understructure for the paper mache, which is gonna look like this. <clears throat> so the way I'm gonna make that is I'm going to take 
a full sheet of newspaper. Okay, and I'm going to also have a single sheet of newspaper. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna crumple the newspaper. I wanna crumple it and then kinda roll it up and that's gonna give me the body shape. Okay, so I crumpled it. And now what I'm gonna do is take that single sheet and I'm gonna wrap this crumpled newspaper in this single sheet and roll it up. And then once I've got it rolled up, I'm gonna take some tape and I'm just gonna close off the edge so it doesn't unravel. Okay, so you can see the crumpled paper is inside. And I've got this roll. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna define where the head's gonna be. So it's like I'm gonna strangle this. So I'm just gonna take my fingers and press in. And I'm gonna take a piece of long tape and I'm gonna tape it so that it forms a neck. Okay, so now I've got the open top and the open bottom. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to close off the bottom. It's the bottom of the mummy. And I'm going to tape that. And it doesn't matter how the tape looks because it's going to be covered up by the paper mache. So the tape can be as messy as it has to be. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close up the top, the head. And I've got a piece of tape to do that. So now I've got the form of the mummy. Now I'm going to, the next thing I'm going to do before I mix any glue is I'm going to start cutting paper strips, newspaper strips. So I'm going to cut lots of different sizes. I'm going to cut some skinny strips because some places can't take a fat strip. It'll sort of crinkle a lot. So I've got some skinny strips and then I'm going to cut some fatter strips. And I can cut long strips, and I can cut short strips. So you can see over here, I've got some short skinny strips, some really kind of fat strips, some medium strips, some long strips, you know, just different strips that I might use. So now I can put my scissors and my paper aside, and I'm going to now mix the glue for the paper mache. So I've got a quarter of a cup of flour and I've got a teaspoon of salt. What the salt does is it helps the, it helps the glue not mold. And in my, I've got my water, so I'm gonna take a quarter of a cup of water and I'm gonna pour it in. And I have a fork that I'm gonna mix the flour in the water with. And I want to mix it so it's nice and smooth. And if I need, if, it, if it's a little too thick, I can always add a little more water. It's not a problem. Like this, I think, is a little thick. I kind of want it the consistency, sort of thin yogurt. Okay, so you can see that this is kind of thick. So I'm gonna add a little more water. I wanna add water a little bit at a time because if I overdo it, it'll get too thin and I'm gonna to have to start again. Okay, let's see. I think I might add just a touch more. 
there just a touch more. And I also have paper towels close at hand because this gets pretty messy. Okay, so now you can see it's a kind of a nice, not too thin consistency. It'll be easy to use. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is, and I'm gonna, I think, use this one instead. You saw how I made that one. I have an extra one on hand. What I'm gonna start first is I'm gonna start with the bottom. So let's get my implement out of here, my fork out of here, and I'm gonna take some, I think some short pieces of paper, of, of newspaper, and I'm gonna put the newspaper in the paper mache, and I mean in the glue, and I'm gonna just get the glue off it. I'm gonna start covering the bottom and I'm gonna work from the bottom up. So I'm gonna cover it this way. Take another piece. And right now it's not too messy, but you're gonna see how this is gonna get pretty messy. Another strip on here. Another strip. And I'm gonna do this until you can't see any more blue tape. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing this. Okay, so you can see that the blue tape is starting to get covered up. And once I've got all the blue tape covered up, I'm gonna start wrapping around the outside. So, this is like a cooking show and I have some samples that I've already started. Okay, so you can see on this one, I've already worked my way up to here. I've got all the blue tape covered. So I'm gonna continue and I can take bigger strips now. and I'm gonna start wrapping them. And I'm gonna, I smooth it out as I wrap it. Take another strip. Keep wrapping. And the more layers I put on, ultimately, the stronger this will be when it dries. If I only put a single layer of newspaper over the whole thing, it'll be hard, but it won't be very strong. So I keep going over it, and I work my way up, and I would work my way up all the way to the neck. So you can see on this one, I've done that. I've worked my way all the way up to the neck. So now what I'm going to do is probably take some thinner paper because it's where the neck is that kind of tends to crinkle the paper. So I'm working my way up and you can see that all the blue is covered. I'm working my way up and if the paper breaks it doesn't matter because the glue will hold it together. I keep Let's see, I think I'll take a little slightly thicker piece. Now, anytime during this video, you can always stop it. Like if you forgot some material and you have to go get it, you can always stop the video. I know I'm moving really quickly, so each step of the way, what you can do is you can stop the video till you make the progress that I've talked about. So I keep wrapping and I ultimately am able to wrap all around the head. So that's where I am with this one. 
So now you can see that the whole mummy is wrapped. And I can continue to keep adding more paper to it to give it more strength. Remember how real mummies were um, wrapped with maybe 20 layers of linen. So I can keep wrapping and wrapping until the whole thing is covered and it's covered with many layers of newspaper. So that's how you make the form of the mummy. So I'm just gonna get these out of the way. Now the reason I suggested that you have some uh, plastic wrap is that once you've got your mummy finished, if you keep it on the newspaper, it's gonna stick to the newspaper. This way, I can just keep the mummy on a piece of plastic wrap or a piece of saran wrap and it won't stick. So I'm just gonna get these other ones out of the way. So you can see my progress. Again, you start out by taping the newspaper and then you start first, the first thing you do is start covering the base the bottom of the mummy, and then you start working your way up. And then you finish, you get to the neck, you do the head, and finally you're finished. And now you want to allow this to dry for at least 24 to 48 hours. That's about a day or two because it really needs to dry so it's hard. Now I'm just gonna get the excess glue off my hands and use a paper towel to dry my hands. And now I'm gonna show you the next step. So once you've finished it and it's dry, it's gonna look like this. So you can see it's nice and hard. And this is where I'm gonna to start to decorate it. So what I need to do is just get some of this stuff out of the way. So let me take my mummies and put them down here and get rid of this newspaper. And get the glue out of the way. And my cups out of the way. Okay, so now I'm gonna start working on decorating. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to make the eyes. I want to make, it's almost like you were wrapped and the eyes were kept open uh, or they were kept free of the linen. So in order to do that, I'm going to take, I'm going to get my scissors again. I'm going to take a piece of black construction paper and I'm going to fold it in half actually it's this one, and then I'm going to cut sort of a, a curved piece. So I cut, the paper is cut in half, you can see the fold is up here, and I now cut, so this is where the eyes are going to be. So I think for this one, it's a little bit big. So I think I'm gonna trim this down a little bit. Now, if you don't have black construction paper, you can always just take your marker and make the shape, this sort of um, eye shape. So I've got some glue. I think I'll do it on this side because it's a little flatter. And I'm gonna put some glue on here. It would help if I opened it where the eyes would be. And I'll glue this on. So now you can see I've started to define where the eyes are going to be. And now if you've got these googly eyes, um, I have left over from another project, those eyes that move. You can use those, but if you don't have those, which I don't have any more of, you can always use your paper punch and circles of paper. So let me get, I can use the glue that I have right up on here. 
and I'm gonna, and this glue fortunately will dry clear, so if you make a mess with the glue, it's not really gonna matter. Okay, let me get another white. Now, if you want this mummy to have pink eyes or blue eyes, you can put any color on here you want. Okay, so now I've got the eyes. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out this ankh shape, this shape. So let's see, on my piece of paper with a pencil, I'm gonna draw an ankh shape. And then I'm gonna cut it out. So it's easiest if you cut out the inside of the circle first and then cut along the other parts. So I've got that onk shape all cut out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on the onk shape. And this is tacky glue. Um, normally you could just use Elmer's glue or you could use... Um, your paste, your glue stick, a little too much glue on there, but the jewel is gonna need a stiffer glue to keep it on. Okay, so now the other thing I'm gonna do before I glue the jewel on, because once I glue the jewel on, I can't move it very much, I'm gonna put some eyeballs with my marker. Now the final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my jewel and I'm gonna take this tacky glue, put a squirt on there, and I'm going to glue the jewel on, and there's my mummy. So that was pretty easy to do. Now I just want to um, tell you just a little bit more. Mummies were, 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 were people were mummified about 5,000 years ago. So I just want you to imagine how long ago that was. If we're in 2020, that's 2,000 years. And then there's zero and 3,000 years before that, people were living and they were mummifying. Um, because they believed, again, that they went into an afterlife. And um, when they were mummified, they were sometimes mummified with their dogs and with their jewels and with food, anything that they would need in the afterlife. So that's your Egyptian mummy project for today. And I'd love it if you would subscribe to and like my YouTube page and also um, I know no one has showed me their projects yet, but if you want to uh, post them on um, Illinois, uh, Art for Kids Illinois, that would be wonderful. If you want to just send me a message on Art for Kids Illinois, if, you're, if you don't want it posted, but just to send me a message and show me the picture. And if you don't give me permission to post, I will not post it, but I'd love to see what you're doing because um, it's always a thrill to see what kids are up to. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope you had fun with this project. You've now got an Egyptian mummy. Thanks. See you next time.